guys so i am back with another video and today i am going to be doing a video on my hair but before we get into that i just wanted to say welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and your notifications are turned on so you do not miss an upload um also make sure you check out my earrings which they are available on my site i'm offering free shipping now to the us i also just launched my multi-purpose goat milk and honey soap for you guys to check out as well that link will be down in the description box for my website where all of those items are available make sure you guys check it out and support um, i really really appreciate it it helps support the channel oh my mugs they are still available i know you guys are probably like I thought you got rid of Renel uh, or of Total Diva Ray, but I didn't get rid of her. I just told you she's just not here on YouTube, but she is still here nonetheless. So my mugs are still available along with the hoodies and tours um, the summer and spring. I'm going to have some like crop tops and things like that coming out as well. So you guys make sure you check those out and just stay followed and subscribed to my channel. So you guys do not miss when any of those things launches next um yeah so we're gonna be getting into this hair so i've been watching um i'm gonna refer back to this just because i want to want you to get get an idea of what i'm actually doing um i've been watching the glam twins for about i don't know since my hair was this big so i've been watching them pretty much for as long as i've been natural i think i even watched them before i went natural um and i not notice but they actually straighten their hair through the fall and the winter like the colder months and then in the summer is when they wear their curly hair is what I noticed which kind of originally didn't make sense to me but I'm just like it's kind of like I don't want to say a protective style because your hair is obviously exposed to the elements etc your hair is like exposed to the elements but it is a very low manipulation type of style where you're not like combing very harshly and things like that it kind of goes back to my no manipulation protective style kind of phrase i used to do in the winter but still being able to wear my hair out without my hair feeling super super dry which that's usually what happens when my hair is in its curly state so i kind of wanted to try their way of doing the hair it's just because i've been kind of getting a little bored and i didn't want a big chop again and i just wanted you know my hair grow not hair growth but my hair just been pretty stagnant nothing like exciting has been happening for me to talk about so i wanted to do something different just something to just and i feel like this is giving me so like 2009 Renell, like pretty big chop Renell, like relaxed Renell, because this is literally how my hair looked because i if you guys know from when I was relaxed, I only relaxed my hair every six months when I did relax my hair. So my hair was still like very textured and still like was very like thick. So I feel like this is giving me those vibes and I don't straight flat iron my hair bone straight. At most I do two passes, um, which you guys will see in the video. This video is going to be slightly lengthy, uh, length, lengthy, lengthy. Okay, one more time for the people in the back, lengthy, and for myself. Um, it's going to be um, pretty lengthy because um, I actually left in the part where I blew out my hair. Um, I only left that in because I do blow dry and use my hair, use different hair products from when I'm just flat ironing my hair and from when I'm blow drying my hair. If I'm just blowing out my hair, I do I use different products for that but if I'm blow drying with the intention to flat iron and right after I use different products so if you guys want to see my normal regular blowout routine I will have a couple of those videos link be link below I've done a few of them before that's pretty much the same but like I said when I'm flat iron blow drying my hair with the intention to flat iron at the end of the day I do use different products um, I, it's pretty much going to be lengthy because I did leave that section in there so you guys can see that as well um so you know grab a little tea in your mug um if you want and you know just enjoy i hope you guys if you guys have any questions about the technique or what i do what i use a lot of the techniques and tips and tricks i kind of learned from the glam twins and i just kind of incorporated into kind of the things that i already had 
also purchasing some of the things that they recommended and used as far as like heat protecting and things like that. So make sure you guys um, check down the description box. I will have a list of the products that I used in this video um, as well as the link for my merch and earrings and soups and things like that down in the description box so you guys can check them out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's, let's kick it into the intro. Bye. So here I'm just showing you guys the products that I use to get started um, before I go into blow drying my hair. So here's my hair, it's kind of tile dried. I'm just trying to soak up the excess water. Under normal circumstances, honestly, I would let my hair um, dry out for a little bit, but I went right into blow drying my hair. And now I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I got this idea from the Glam Twins, one of the Glam Twins. Um, she uses this as her leave-in because it makes her hair feel super soft and it actually works. I actually bought this literally just for this occasion. So this was my first time using it, but I'm definitely going to keep using it um, for my blowout and, you know, just as a leave-in in general. Next, I'm going to go in with the Tresemme Heat Tamer, and I'm just going to use this um, as a heat protection before I blow out my hair. Um, if you guys watch my other blowout video, you guys know I use the Shea Moisture Blowout Cream. However, I find when I straighten my hair, this gives less buildup and just makes my hair move a lot more freely. after I did the tension method and I'm just going to go in with the comb attachment and finish blow drying my hair. I pretty much go back and forth um, just to get my hair kind of as straight as possible. That way I don't have to do too many passes when it's time for me to actually use my flat iron. And then the last pass with the blow dryer, I'm going to use my paddle brush just to kind of finish off the blow dry process and I just repeat this all over my hair. So after I repeat those steps all over my hair, this is my hair after it's been blow dried. Um, I kind of kept this part kind of short. I didn't want to keep repeating it because you guys pretty much have seen my blowout routine. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much my hair fully blow dried. And then next, um, this is pretty much um, half of my hair straightened and the other half um, just blow dried. So I'm just going to be showing you guys um, a quick section of how I flat iron this section. Now I'm going to separate that hair and I'm going to use this heat spray by Tresemme. This is their flat iron spray. Um, I just picked this up because I really didn't have a regular flat iron spray and I could have used just a heat tamer but I wanted to use something different. And I just pretty much um, go in with the rat tail comb and just use, I do about like three, I want to say two passes. Um, on this section I kind of did three, but um, throughout the rest of the section I just did two. And I use a, bis a bristle brush to do the chasing method. And the flat iron that I'm using is a hot and gold uh, flat iron that I've had for years. I had this when I was relaxed. And I just never bought another one, but I do plan on getting a different one soon. I just really don't find it necessary. But yeah, I'm not going to talk through the rest of the video because this is pretty much all that I do over this section. And yeah, I'll be back after I finish flat iron.
shines here and I'm just gonna go and apply that to my hair just to kind of finish my hair off and to give it a little bit of extra shine. Um, I don't really like flatten my hair to be like silky. I still like a little texture, but I like it to be very kind of movable and swing a little bit. Um, and then quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys how I maintain my hair. Um, I pretty much just wrap my hair like I used to do when I was relaxed and apply my scarf and that's pretty much how I maintain it um, and I don't really go in and curl it or anything like that I just brush it down um, so I don't really go back in and use a flat iron while my hair is straight I just wrap it and that's pretty much it and then yeah that's it for the video guys so I hope you guys enjoy um, like I said for this season I'm pretty much am gonna be wearing my hair straight so I do I have been flat ironing my hair probably every 45 days or so um, so that's it that's that's the hair it looks good I like this method because it still gives my hair a lot of texture but I pretty much been keeping it in a wrap and just working it like this and I love the shine that that um Shayla oil gives so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions comments anything like that leave them down in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video bye